so you write Champion. How long ago was that? Ooh. It came out 2020, so 2019. Okay. So you the write Champion. Of, sorry, the end of 2018. Okay, cool. Perfect. Okay. So you write Champion. Two years goes by, and like, how does that now get released with Bethel? How does it go from writing it in in a in a in a what you pastor paid trailer to now six million stre- uh, streams on YouTube with Bethel? You know? <laughs> yeah, this is so. Ultimately, I I had a my friend Tony Brown, who is the co-founder of Maverick City. Okay. Oh, he's the co-founder of House Fires. Okay. We, wow. We were friends, but there was no such thing as Maverick City at the time. There was only sure. House Fires. But anyway, um, we had connected and he had an idea. He was like, why don't we just all come to Atlanta and write songs for like a week? And uh, we were, I was like, I was in that group text. It was like five of us. And I'm like, sure, let's do it. And um, and ironically, one of my really good friends that was in that group text was like, hey, I got a friend. His name is Brandon Lake. You know, he's like a local <laughs> worship leader. He's a local worship leader. What if he came to and just hung out? We were like, yeah, because we didn't really know. We all knew each other, but we didn't know Brandon. Sure. But that's how Brandon actually came into the family. But um, so we were like, yeah, sure, bring him. It's all good. Just so happy. He's like the best freaking, you know, whatever. But um, so we we all get to Atlanta and we, we write for a week. And Tony's like, hey, we're going to go to Nashville and do the same thing. And I'll bring some of my friends. So then he did that. There'll be there'll be people like Tasha Cobbs coming there. It's like this is a move was written because Tony was like, wow. I'm just gonna bring, I'm gonna bring some of my friends. We were all nobodies. Tony was just like this guy that was like a big brother that kind of was just like, come write. I'm gonna bring some friends over for you guys to write with. It was just honestly, genu- now like being like three years later, it was genuinely out of like a pure heart. I didn't mm-hmm. owe anything. Or, mm-hmm. and, and, but um, so that's how that happened. Then he was like, let's go to Reading. We're gonna go to Reading. So we went to Reading and we were in the cabin and he was like, um, some of the Bethel crew will come stop through and we can write with some of them, hopefully, or whatever. And then Stephanie came one day and that's when we wrote Champion. <laughs> that's, oh, you wrote that with her? I didn't know you wrote that with her. That's wild. I wrote that. It was me, Brandon Lake, and Stephanie Gresson. It's like, yeah, so. Wow. That's we, wild. Um, so the reason yeah. you were traveling was to meet other artists, like to invite these other artists? We were pretty much just... Yeah, we're just doing like little writing camps of our own, mm-hmm. but inviting you know people who had influence in our in our arena, you know, just to be there. And I don't know. So that was the end of twenty eighteen. You said the end of twenty eighteen. Well, when we started, it was like the middle, like beginning middle of twenty eighteen. Okay. But champion was written in twenty eighteen, like the end. 